Hey boys, what's up? It's your boy Klaus over here today, guys. And today I'm bringing you the new boss battle, the Monolith Guardian. Now, this is the second time the Monolith Guardian has been up here. Uh, hopefully, we can take him pretty easily. We're gonna use our boss battle deck. This deck normally works against everything. Uh, it's just a grow deck. Interesting. All right, so God Hammer is good. Earth is good. We drop Earth Sphere. Rest of hand's pretty good. We get Earth Sphere back anyway. The Monolith Guardian starts out with Sarlacc in the middle of the board. We start at two mana apiece. Monolith Guardian is a 215. Whenever Monolith Guardian destroys an enemy, it uh, assim assimilates them? I don't know. I can't fucking read. Anyway. Drop this Earth Sphere. So I think he's kind of like the first time that uh, the first Monolith Guardian ever played. Or he's the exact same thing. Something like that. Interesting that we're, we're playing old balls. That's fine, we're going to bring you, uh, yeah. I haven't played all that much recently. I've been, I've been very busy. Um, and I haven't really had the chance to play as much as I would like to. Drop down the sound a little bit. We're gonna move up here, play Huntress in the corner, call it a turn. Uh, I really want the Huntress to live. If I lose the God Hammer, then so be it, but I'd rather have the Huntress live. Looks like he's actually gonna go to kill it. Yeah, he's gonna kill it. This sucks. Whoever he plays, hopefully we can get this Earth Sister, uh, not, yeah, yeah. Uh, actually, that's not bad. We'll play the Earth Sister and back up. Hopefully he trades the Shadow Sister into it. Um, Island Guardian was a pretty hard boss. Tropic Decay, interesting. Unfortunately for us, we really haven't been able to get anything out, which is what we really need to do. But I really just haven't had the hand to get anything out. I'm actually getting cornered now, which sucks. We'll kill that off. Then we'll get a Colossus on board and call it a turn. Hopefully he doesn't have the removal for it. Um, if I can get it to stick, I'm able to take out really all his minions. And uh, if I remember correctly, he turns into a really big, big uh, 330 or something like that. This is going to hurt. Earth is actually pretty nice here because I'm able to pull up right here. Another Sarlacc in hand, no big deal. No big deal. Now we have a War Beast here and a Colossus getting getting right on top of him, so we're able to take out really all the minions he plays around this area. Also able to get in some damage on him as well uh, if he doesn't run away.
Once you get a Colossus to stake, it's really hard to bring your point to get rid of it unless they have removal. Now I'm gonna assume he probably doesn't have removal. And to be honest, now I really don't have to walk over here because I have the natural selection in hand. I'm gonna choose this thumping wave instead of instead of um just hitting it. I could have killed it. I could have killed it with the Colossus, but I didn't want to. Backing himself into a corner. Uh, interesting here play. In the corner, I mean, he's already surrounded by a War Beast and a Colossus. I do have one Earth Spear to heal up next turn. I'm not really, I'm not really worrying about these Sarlaccs all too often. Speckblade's fine. He does still have Blast, so he is going to be healing up here a little bit. Uh, Ironclad kind of sucks because that dispels the Colossus. Alright, now he's up to a 620. It's gonna get dispelled, but whatever. I got damage in, right? It got value. It still got value. Double flash, not really good for us here. Um, Oh, I guess they don't stack. Wait, no, they take two damage, right? Oh, no, man, that play wouldn't have worked anyway. I was going to double flash out Groom Rock, but it would have died. That would have been pointless. Um, we're going to move over. Still off the War Beast call to turn. Whatever, at least I don't have the flashes in hand. Um, kind of sucks. I kind of wish I saved one. Oh, well, misplay on my behalf. I haven't played in so long, forget what stuff does. Like I said, unfortunately, I really just haven't had the time to play as much as I would like to. Blair Mara Healer, actually playing her away from me, which is weird. We're gonna move up. We're gonna get a Colossus on board here. Um, we're gonna go Huntress into Colossus. Into BBS. This gives me an extremely strong Colossus on board. Don't Entropic Decay it. Don't Entropic Decay it. He's gonna Entropic Decay it. I think he's gonna Entropic Decay it like we saw earlier. Um, really didn't want to put my Malaki Huntress in harm's way. I'd rather put the Colossus in harm's way. It's a bigger minion. I have the Grim Rocks for next turn as well. Toss. Is that game? Did he just give me game? Did the AI just mess up? I think so. I think so. Yeah, for sure. Alrighty. Monolith Guardian loses. Again. 
So that was fun. We did get a boss crate orb or a, a Shimzar orb. We got the boss crate. Uh, yeah, man, I definitely misplayed that turn at Double Flash, though. I was thinking I could Double Flash out something. I thought I had one mana left, but I didn't, so it's whatever. It's whatever. My bad. We still won. That deck always wins against bosses. Alright, guys, I'm gonna buy a key here. I will bring you guys back when we have a key, so BRB. Alright, boys, I'm back. We do have a, uh, we have a boss crate key, so we're gonna unlock this baby. See what we get. Hopefully, we get some emotes. That's what I'm always on the hunt for. Uh, Zeron emotes would be preferred. Uh, another spirit orb, another spirit orb, gauntlet tickets. Uh, Archon spellbinder, not bad. Definitely in the current meta. Uh, I don't think I have three of them. Not that I don't think I would probably wouldn't use three of them, but you know, it's still not bad. My hair is looking all sorts of crazy today. I do apologize. Prismatic uh, hailstone prism. Uh, profile icon, profile icon. Not really looking for profile icons. I have the exact one I want. On the day they came out, I got it. Alrighty. Uh, what else? I took. Oh, spirit orbs. We have seven spirit orbs. Some are from just previous like gauntlet runs and stuff that I haven't opened yet. Sometimes I uh, I tend to hold on to them uh, for like bigger openings like this. Onyx Jaguar, Echo Shriek. Not bad. Onyx Jaguar, definitely not bad at all. Um, this orb looks busted here. Uh, just commons and a rare. That's fine. We'll open up another one. Once again, some more commons and rares. We're really looking for epics and legendaries because I really want to get some spirit uh, because most of the time I have weak cards. Uh, hopefully this one isn't busted. Oh, we got, we got two epics in here. That's not a bad orb. We got um, Battle Pando and Alamancer, both really good epics as well. Uh, both epics that see a lot of play. And then Last Orb looks kind of busted with two uh, ep uh, two rares and uh, three commons. Two more Spirit Orbs to go. Another really bad orb. That's really my luck today, just getting some bad orbs. I mean, we've had four epics so far. Um, ooh, five epics now. So... 19 commons, 10 rares, 5 epics, 0 legendaries, unfortunately, but I'll take 5 epics. That is a-okay. We're gonna go do, uh, not mystery box, collection, type in new, get all of this wipes away. Serpenti? I guess Serpenti I didn't even see. Let's see how much spirit we get. Let's see how much. Hopefully it's a good amount. 790, not bad. Not bad. I can uh, I can craft at least one legendary at this point now. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you guys leave it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know if you see any misplays besides the double flash for nothing. And yeah, my name is Klazo. I hope you guys keep on dueling. I will see you guys next time.